They want gold, but it ain't all good. Yeah, because human beings are involved. So y'all know how the game goes. Team USA Basketball went out there, won the gold medal for the men's. But it wasn't all good. There was a lot of rumblings, a lot of issues in terms of who was playing and how they were getting played. Steve Kerr, obviously, is going to stand there as the poster man for some of these issues landing right on his lap. Well, when Charles Barkley speaks, this show listens. And I was out in them streets last night. Y'all might can hear a little bit of it. And I felt the love. So let's talk about the love or lack of love Charles Barkley had for Team USA basketball. Let go. You said you were critical of Kerr, and you said that they should not, that team should not be tested. And Kendrick Perkins said that was an asinine take. That of course, well, they should first be of all, don't, listen, don't don't bring up bringing up a guy who averaged five points a game. I'm not going to stoop to his level. You average five <laughs> points a game, shut the hell up. Um, wow. Dan, let me ask you a question: <laughs> Who was the second best player on Serbia? Uh, no, buddy. You're, look, I don't think they should have been tested either. Uh, no, but I, my question was, <laughs> number one, they got Joker, but the second best player on their team was Bogdanovich. Does Bogdanovich make the United States Olympic team? Under no circumstances he make the Olympic team. Mm. Um, I think they played too slow mm. uh, because you could see what Joker was doing. He was milking the clock. He would take the ball out of bounds and roll it up the court. They they turned it in, they turned a forty minute game basically into like a thirty five to thirty seven minute game. So they let them play slow. I think they should have played a lot faster. And you know that every time we say something now, people go crazy. There's no yeah. reason for him not to play Jason Tatum. Uh, uh, Jason Tatum would have been the second best player on Serbia. Probably would have been the best player on France. For him not to get any minutes in two games, come on, man, that wasn't right. That wasn't fair. Uh, you, you, if, you, if you go into the Olympics, you want to play. You want to play. So um, I was disappointed Jason didn't get to play. I was disappointed Halliburton, especially early. Like, if you want to show in your rotation in the last couple of games, that's fine. Them guys dedicated their summer to the United States to go over there and not get to play. I didn't like that at all. Mm, he ain't never lied, boy. It's not a coach alive. Pee Wee, Rec League, Pop Warner, I don't care. That doesn't look at that bench, know every single player, and know what they've been played. Know their minutes, know around how many points they score, rebounds, assists. Ain't a coach alive, let alone one of the best coaches ever, Steve Kerr. Looking down there like, mm, I'm just going to let you rock. <sighs> I don't know why. I can't explain that. I don't know why. There is any game where those guys can't play. You can't find a way for their skill set to be added to this game. Think about it. Halliburton got the three-point shot. Obviously, he can make plays, create, dribble. Off the dribble. We got Jason Tatum, who a lot of people joke about, but we forget he's the highest paid player in the NBA <laughs> for a reason. And a champion. Like, the dude could do a lot. Right. I understand y'all. Everybody's saying the same joke. Oh, he look like he ain't nothing but a one on one session. He look like he ain't nothing but him and his coach out there. I, uh, as a coach, your job is to coach. That means give me anything, any ingredients. And I'm going to make it taste good. That's what a coach's job is. Not, oh, give me the best ingredients. And guess what? It's going to taste good. <laughs> Anybody can do that. That ain't a coach. So Steve Kerr, I'm with Charles Barkley on that one. I was like, dog, if I, ooh, if I, I wish I would. First of all, be good enough to make the Olympic team. But then, yo ass got me out on this bus, got me with all of this protocol, got me eating team dinner, and I ain't balling. I ain't getting reps. Whoa, you doing too much. Ah, another thing Charles Barkley said that was interesting is like people go crazy over anything that is said right now. And that's wild. That's facts because attention is currency. So everybody want attention. So everybody going to put an exclamation point on something that just need a period. Sometimes just a comma. <laughs> I dare you use a semicolon. Who knows how to use a semicolon? Point is, everywhere, everybody just amped up on 10 because you got to stand out. You got to peacock. It's a crazy world we live in there right now. But we the crazies that make it a crazy world. Let's not blame the world, dog. It's just spinning. We the one over here making it do it. I love the fact that he said that they shouldn't have been tested. I love Charles Barkley so much because he just be saying it. And I don't care what you think. 
He thinks what he said. Get it? You think different. You disagree. Let's go beat it up in the comments. But damn it, that dude just said it. I love it. Oh, kindred spirit in that way. They shouldn't have been tested. Look at that damn roster. It's so good. You can't play Jason Tatum. You can't play Halliburton. What? And y'all out there battling with teams with one good player? I mean, supreme player. Jokic, you know. <sighs> Two good players. Wimby and. Okay, I get it. I'm with you, Barkley. That was wild right there. So beat up in the comments. Y'all think. First of all, try to justify why Steve Kerr didn't play them dudes. Second of all, <laughs> should they have been tested? Beat it up in the comments. Let's have some fun. All right.